Hello guys, the following conversation is a conversation with Funke Felix Arijuma. She is an author and uh, and the speaker, you know. Uh, she is the wife of the founder of Agape, both are founders of Agape, you know. This conversation was recorded a couple of weeks ago, and as you hear, you know, uh, as you be, as you are about to listen to listen to conversation or watch a conversation, whatever, wherever you are actually listening to it, or maybe Google Podcast or or YouTube. The, we disagreed on a lot of things, you know, almost on everything. <laughs> but it was a deeply respectful conversation. It, at some point, it was it was heated, you know, it turned to a debate, you know, like you know, like she said, she said it wasn't a debate really. She said uh, 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 it was a debate, you know, that we are debating, you know. But 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 it wasn't a debate, you know. I would have I would have I would have been more <laughs> as in ah, uh, but but you know. We we I disagreed on a lot of things, but it was a deeply respectful conversation. I was I was really surprised, you know. I was really surprised, though I wasn't I wasn't really surprised. Something I actually learned uh, from our conversation was something I've been try- is something I've been trying for a while. Something I learned from my, my, I'm, I'm studying history at Harvard University, and uh, and I've, I I learned this from my uh, from my uh, from my study of Chinese history, Chinese culture, how they build their states. That there is something that actually transcends religious differences, you know. There is something that actually transcends whatever difference we have, a lot of differences we have, you know. And that is history. I've tried this on three occasions. Some what I'm what I'm about there, I've tried it on three occasions, like my conversion with uh uh, uh I went so no, I went somewhere to a computer village uh, and I went to actually install a game on my laptop. Uh, 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 FIFA. I, I went there to actually, and the guy was telling me I had, I had to pay one thousand three hundred naira for it. I had to pay one thousand three hundred naira for the game. And after reminding that that we are both Yoruba, you know, and actually saying that some things about about the history of uh, uh, of Ibadan, something about that. He didn't actually know what I was doing. Consciously, didn't actually know what I was doing, but I knew what I was doing. I was actually trying to actually show him that, you know. We share something in common. We don't have to actually treat each other so differently. And he charged me three hundred naira at the end of the day. Three hundred naira after 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 we talked about you about you, you know. And the same thing I did for or, or for Funga Felix I did I'm very sorry. She didn't actually know I actually did it, you know. But it was a conscious thing. I remember I reminded her of of where we came from. You know, she's also from Ibadan. And and I reminded her. Of where she, we both came from, you know, that we are, we are from Ibadan, we are both from Ibadan, and she says she married at Ibadan, she she is cool at Ibadan, and and I was talking about Ibadan, ah ah ah, yeah, and and this was fun, and and even though we disagreed on on our uh, we, we due to our religious differences, we disagreed, but still it was it was it was a fun conversation, you know, like we respected each other, and she actually ended up giving me a gift, you know, and that is the truth, you know, she ended up giving me a gift. And 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 that that is what what I've been my work is about what I'm actually pushing for is about those who actually founded this country were clueless about how to actually find find the country you know I I I'm, I, I they, they they went well of course it was uh, <laughs> regard but 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 Nigeria continues shatter in, shatter into different factions and different thoughts school of thought whatever they call it because. They, they are not actually aware of what actually in nice countries together and that is history once you share some something with people that you both you won't come from somewhere you know we are we are both americans you know we are both nigerians we are both chinese you treat each other better you know you respect each other better and and that is something that uh our founding fathers do not are not aware of that culture is more is, is more important culture is what fix politics nigeria has an identity issue and identity crisis and that is the problem. That is the reason causing the political co- co- problem we have. The the tribalism entrenched in politics right now. There, there is tribalism really entrenched in, entrenched in politics right now, and 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 people are making uh, decisions based on their on their on their tribe. And and what I demonstrated with Funke Felix even though I, I, I was I'm an atheist and she was religious, that actually showed us. That should actually serve an example that history is what is actually very important. You know. It, it is history that helps people survive, and that is the thing, you know. And I hope you enjoyed this conversation. I hope you enjoyed this conversation. Uh, uh, <laughs> I hope you guys actually enjoyed this conversation. And and people have been asking me why, why, 
my I, I, I've been able to invite big, uh, big guests on my podcast, and I am actually been doing it. This is how I do it, you know. By sh- by telling them, I both of us actually have, have something in common. Both of us, and I tap into what they want, you know, what they want, like their instinct. That that is why if they want to save Nigeria, I I, I, I tap into that instinct for them that, that I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that, you know. And and, and that is the truth. And that is the truth. And I'm trying to you know some, bring some change. So thank you. That's what the best thing for you to actually understand for you to actually understand what I'm actually doing is actually to subscribe. Please subscribe and subscribe wherever you listen to this. Subscribe on YouTube and share this and support the podcast. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, happy listening. The Bible says we are made uh, in the image of God. Uh, uh, what property of God do we do we mirror? Um, thank you, Benga. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I must say you're a very brilliant and intelligent young man. And um, we're glad that you're a Nigerian, that you're an African. And I trust God that you will use this intelligence the way God intended it okay. to be and use the access you have to people the way God intends it. So you can remain a blessing that you were created to be. I believe that we mirror every aspect and every part of God. So when God says, when the Bible says we were created in the image and the likeness of God, you will notice that we are the only being, only creatures, that God made erect. All the others walk on their fall. It speaks about dominion. It speaks about authority. So Psalm 115 verse 16, the Bible says that the heaven and the heaven of heavens, God has, it belongs to God, but the earth he has given unto men. So he made us in his image and every aspect of us is supposed to mirror God and everything God represents love, great grace, dominion, authority, prosperity, health, wealth, wisdom. Name it. Everything. As he is in heaven, so are we on earth. That's my belief. What do you think we also mirror the violent aspect of... of, uh, Because we are one of the most violent animals out there. You know, we go to war... I, th- I think w- war has not finally disappeared on, on the planet, you know. And uh, uh, do you think we mirror the violent aspect of God, you know? Like, I don't know, do you, the violent aspect of, of, of us, of, of hum- hum- humanity, do you think we actually do that? Let me say this, Benga. Mm-hmm. Every human being was created a genius. Mm-hmm. Do your research and you discover that everybody was born a genius. Between the ages of 18 and 24 months, we have 90 percent of babies that still remain geniuses by the age of two years well let's say five years only 20 percent remain geniuses by i'll explain to you by the age of 20 years only two percent remains and this is because Everyone has been consistently muted. Our geniuses have been muted, tampered with by the environment. Dining table conversations. For instance, Mom, my iPad is broken. I need another one. Do you want me to go and steal? I just paid your school fees. And parents don't realize that you are telling that child, stop stretching. Keep on sitting with your mistakes. It's not your right to be wealthy. Well, we may not have money in this family, but at least we have love. You're muting your child's genius. You're, you, you're stopping him. You're doing something. It happens in religion. It happens at work. It happens everywhere. Every human being was created perfect, a genius. But environmental conditioning sets in 
and begins to tamper with who we are. The Bible says that God is a man of war. So I will not deny that. He is a man of war. He is a two-sided God. He is a God of love. The book of Romans explains that to us. He loves. But he can also, 1 Samuel chapter 2 tells us that also. By him actions are weighed. He's a man of war. So he can, you, you, you read about God destroying some people, God destroying a city, God, you know, doing this. So if you say, oh, we mirror the violent part of God, I will not call it violent part of God. It's his side because the entire universe is governed by laws. And the law of laws, the mother of all laws, is referred to as the law of cause and effect. Law of repercussion. You do this, you get that. You jump up, the law of gravity says you must come down. And you know laws are universal. Laws are absolute. Laws are impersonal. So if God tells you don't do this, and you do it, get ready. Genesis 8.22, while the earth remaineth, cause effect cause effect uh, so uh, so uh, we can't have uh, uh, the peace be, the peace without the violence like is that is that the implication of like you know like we don't we can't have the peace without the violence you know because uh, we are like for example we are uh, we are innately we, we can be innately generous uh and we can humans can also are also innately greedy you know when you, when you think about it so, uh, is, it, is there any way it could have been done? Do you think it, it, there is any way it could have been done by God or that, that this, this violence uh, character of humanity wouldn't have been, you know, wouldn't have, uh, uh, wouldn't have reflected or w- w- could have been something it could actually, uh, it could actually have, have, have bypassed? Like, uh, uh, w- could we have made without this violent aspect of, of We our were life? made without this violent part of us we missed it somewhere god created human beings as free beings but he did not mute our ability to choose he didn't create us as robots he made us independent beings free beings but man decided to choose and god will not say hey 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 don't don't choose it's your choice that's why the laws are God's modus operandi. He created the universe. He gave it to the human being, to human beings, and he gave us between 10 and 14 billion cells in our heads. He's fantastically strategic about us. Everything, your brain is strategically arranged. So you can know that if you jump up, you will come down. You talk about the law of polarity, the law of opposite. Without violence, there's no way you would have known about peace. And without peace, there's no way you'll have known about violence. So, man decided to choose. God allowed us the freedom. And man decided to introduce sin. Can I put it yeah. on record that I am a Christian. I'm a Bible-believing Christian. Whether the Bible is a lie or not, it's too late for me to consider that. I am a Christian. So, let me just put that right, on record. Right. Right. So everything I answer is based on that. All right, all right. Actually, uh, I believe the Bible. Well, well, yeah, it's, that is yeah, that is good. But well, I, I to actually consider if something is true or not is never too late, you know. But uh, how how do you explain uh, human origin? Do you do you buy into the idea of uh, the creation in the creation story in the Bible, or you buy uh, you buy evolution by natural selection? Which it's not mean? even a matter of buying, <laughs> and it is too late for me not to be a Christian. It's not. I'm telling you, it's too late. Just forget about that. I don't just buy into the biblical explanation of creation. I believe it. And that's the only thing I believe. I don't believe in evolution. Uh, are, you, are, you open, are you open to considering other arguments? You know? No, other... other uh information is if it might actually contradict sorry if if, if it's correct to change your views on on uh uh the, cre- the creation story in the bible are you are you open to no that? i'm not i i actually i actually brought you bought you a, a book i brought you something a, a book 
on, on it by Richard Dawkins. It's about the evidence of evolution and natural selection. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The evidence of absence is not in the absence of evidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't go for that and I don't read such books. Why? Why is that? Because I believe the Bible is my final authority and nothing can change it. So you, you, won't, you won't take my you won't take my gift. It's not likely. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Thank you. you, should, you should. <laughs> You should, you should. Okay, I hope I hope you actually consider that before the ending of the conversation, Sha. Uh, is there is there uh is there any part of 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 the human life human life that that cannot be independent of God? You know that 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 actually needs God. That without God is missing something. Life, in its entirety, is totally dependent on God for existence here on earth. And after death, God did not create a world in which he will not be needed. You see, it's, it's so funny that the creatures will be trying to explain the creator. God created us, gave us a brain, and now we're using it and looking for every aspect of life is meant to be dependent on God. But I'm not religious, and I, I actually don't feel like I act, I'm actually missing anything. I I m- most of my followers, you know, I have a lot of Christian followers, so they're actually interested in my work. Are uh, not religious, and and you know, in fact, a lot of them actually support my channel, and uh, and uh, I I don't feel like I'm missing anything. A lot of people, Sean Kuti, for example, has been on my podcast twice. He's not religious, you know. Wally so Inka, I spoke to him uh, uh day before yesterday or so, day before yesterday. He's not religious either, you know, and uh, and he's doing well, you know, you know. What do you think explains that? And let me say this. I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about a relationship with God. There's a difference between religion God. and having a relationship with, with God. Religion is religionem in Latin, which means to bind together. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a personal relationship with God, your creator. And... Look, Binga, you can succeed. Anybody can succeed. Without religion. Without religion, you can succeed. Because there's what we call unconscious competence. If you understand how the laws work, you will succeed. You don't even need to pray to succeed. So we're not talking about and what is the definition of success. You have money. You're famous. You're happily married. Is that what we're talking about? Success is the fulfillment, the progressive realization of your purpose. So, God gave this planet out to us as a gift. And he allows us to choose what we want to do with our life, lives. But I believe in life after death. So... Oh, uh, what do you think? You know, I, uh, I, this question for, uh, for you know, what do you think about what do you think about heaven? You know, you will be with boiling good people. I wouldn't. You, 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 are, you are an interesting person, you know, but I wouldn't want to be in heaven with boring, like you know, like you know, what heaven would be like. You know, would there be pain? Would there be? Would there be? You know, like I, I love food. You know? would, would there, especially meat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Will there be pain, you know? Will there be pain there? Will there be pleasures there, you know? What do you think we might actually find? You must might actually find fascinating there, you know? Like, we will actually find fascinating. Some, something that can't mm. give us pleasure. Will there be pleasure? Ooh-hoo! That is the peak. That is where you will find the peak of pleasure. Heaven. But, but, Beauty. But, but, Wealth. But, 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 opulence. How, how would I know the difference if I can actually feel pain? You know? Because this body is what feels pain. We're going to have another body, terrestrial. No, 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 not my own body. <laughs> wow, that is, you know, <laughs> that is somehow, you know. It's, would it actually, what do you think? Would it actually still be us, you know? Us, still be us. Would I be able to recognize my. Ah, would, would I even want to be with my family in heaven? Like, you know, we are, we are I have a kind of weird family, you know. <laughs> you know, and I, I've heard someone actually say the same thing, you know. Uh, Julia Sweeney and Amurulog. 
and she said she wouldn't want to be with her family in heaven, you know. Well, that, won't, that wouldn't be an, a good incentive for her. You know, and we will be like angels. She, she also has... So, forget about your family. There's nothing like that. Like that Binga, are you born again? I'm not, I'm not religious, you know. I'm not religious. Not, 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 not do you have a relationship with God? I, I do not... Uh, do you pray when you wake up in the morning? I haven't prayed in about four years. Up until then, you had always prayed. I've always prayed, yeah. So, can you remind, remember when your prayer was answered? Uh, miraculously, supernaturally? When my, my prayers were answered, right? Uh, I've, I, yeah, when I was, uh, when I was, for example, my admission, my admission to uh, university in the US, I, I, the when I actually started questioning my feet was about 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 four days after I actually got that mission. I was in my room. I actually prayed that you know, I've been struggling for about six months to so actually more than six months, about a year to actually get a mission to a university in US. And I and I prayed. Uh, I got I got the admission about and I started question how do I actually know that it was my prayer that I actually got answered? You know, because I've been working towards it for about for about a year and I. I I was questioning myself, was it actually my prayer that I actually got answered? Then it was just it, it has been before then. I've been I've been questioning a lot before then, but but uh it was just at that moment that I actually questioned. I, I I struggled a lot. I, I started listening to uh, Joshua Selman is 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 uh uh sermons and all. So actually I, I, I remember this sermon that he actually gave us, you know, in church. Uh, conquering my own belief. And I, I started to, I, I listened to that, hoping not to actually lose my faith, you know, not to actually question things, you know, but I didn't really, I started questioning it, you know, I started, I started questioning, like, and, and I, I figured out that whether you actually pray or you don't pray, what will actually happen with your point? Uh, but, and, and even in a way, prayer actually opens your life up to, 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 in a way, to failure. Because the basic, foundation the basic belief that you need to have to actually achieve anything in life is actually to believe that you can actually do something you have to believe you know you have to believe that you can actually do something before you before you actually do it then i i, I started to realize that you know by, by actually praying by actually thinking that something's actually impo- impossible for me and i'm by actually seeking help like a god i've never seen before i, I actually do not know if he's actually there by actually opening my my dreams and everything up to that, I I actually open I actually open my 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 career and my my goals up to failure, and uh, you know even my my tuition fee in the years you know I actually pay for everything myself you know and and I didn't come from a, a very a wealthy family, I, I I'm I said it this is a lot my dad was actually a bricklayer, that's actually the truth you know he was you know and but I'm very grateful he gave me the wings he, went, he sent me to a good private school. I started to sell softwares online, and I was able to to, to British from Nigeria, and I and <laughs> that was I was I was able to actually afford you know setting up my podcast you know and I'm going to school, and I'm not I'm not done yet, but I'll soon be, and uh, and I don't think there is any aspect of my life you know that actually requires that that actually requires for me to actually except for when my ex actually broke up with me. <coughs> Can I ask you a question? All right. Can you breathe yourself? I can't. So who breathes you? The air we breathe is O2, oxygen. Mm. No, I, I I don't have any if actually Where does it come from? Uh 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 when uh stars actually explode, you know, like the core of the neutron star, like the sun we actually uh that that is in our in our solar system, uh, when the sun actually explodes through through is it fission or fission? Through fission, uh um uh it can actually it creates all other other uh, elements, you know. Every single element that we actually find that actually give that actually give life the opportunity to actually thrive on this planet Earth, you know. Uh, uh, it it's uh, uh, everything actually came from the explosion of a neutron star. So the stars actually died for that. This is actually this is not this is not this is not my opinion. This is actually a fact. It's a scientific fact, you know. Planet has still been created up to this, to this day. You know, but I'm the one here to interview. If interview you, are really interviewing me. You know? <laughs> 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 Who is your mentor? 
I don't actually have one, but I have a lot of people I'm actually close to. Like a lot of people. Are... And they don't believe in God? A lot of them know. A lot of them So know. how did you find yourself in that company? By actually seeking them out, not by you know, about about a year ago. You no, know, that was when I I met Shinkuti about a year ago, you know. About a year ago at and he, he asked me my name, I met him at at his as Kalakota Museum and he actually asked me my name. And uh, and then we got together. Then that was the first person I actually knew. That was the top profile person that I actually knew first. Name. Then then uh, yellow show already. All of that. I look forward to when you will preach the gospel of Jesus. I will be alive to applaud. A, a, lot, a lot of people actually say that 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 will actually be the end of me. You know that we end up let's, preaching the gospel. Let's let's watch out. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You watch out, and I'll watch out, uh, and I'll remind you of this particular. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, what do you think about the idea of of, of original sins, or original sin? You know, original sin in the Bible, and and uh, and uh, uh, do you think we are, you know, like uh, this guy we actually say, I forgot, he's dead now. Uh, uh, Christopher Hitchens, he said, created sin, commanded to the world. You know, created sin, command. Do you think we actually created? The idea of original sin, do you, do you think we actually created sinful? Like, you know? We were not, we were not created sinful. We were created with a will, a free will to choose. And Evil was in existence, and man, I believe in the original sin. Don't forget the Bible rules my life. Don't forget that. You don't have to tell uh, Oh! Sincerely. It's evident. Uh, the I, Bible guides everything. About me, mm. so uh, uh, I spoke. I spoke with uh, uh, Father Loma. I don't know. He's a Catholic priest. He's at at uh, Abuja, and you actually you actually collected the book. I gave him the same the same copy of the book, you know. And uh, he actually collected the book, and he actually uh, uh, he doesn't the Catholic Catholics o- o- buy into the idea of purgatory. What do you think? You know. Is it possible for a seven-year-old or let me say a five-year-old to actually go to to actually go to hell? Because as five-year-old, even though you don't know what you are doing, your brain is still in a theta mode, you know. So if we are actually if we are actually create uh if if the idea of original sin is true, could a five-year-old or four-year-old be punished if you know a lot of a lot of kids actually die young, you know? Could they be punished for being uh, uh, for being sinful, even though they had no choice in the matter, you know. God is sovereign, and I believe that there is an age when He holds us responsible or accountable. Age of reason. Age of reason, which is about thirteen. Mm, okay, thirteen. Do you understand? Yeah. He is sovereign, like I said, and He has given us. The way of salvation from sin, which is in the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't care whether you belong to Catholic or you belong to an Anglican or you belong, it doesn't matter. The Bible has the final say over our lives as believers. I believe in hell. I believe in heaven. I believe in judgment. I believe everything that the Bible says. And I believe it dogmatically. You can say I've been brainwashed. It's a compliment. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. And and you know, I I actually wish you know. I actually wish the, I actually wish you and I can actually have more conversations on more conversation on this topic. You know, I don't think I don't think it is it is literally it is no one is, no one believes anything by choice. I do not believe you know that I actually have a leg. I do not actually choose to believe that I actually have a leg. I see the leg there, then I believe you know. You it is a. a our beliefs are actually actually shift to our perception of the evidence and and so I don't think it is it is generally brainwashing or anything. I don't think so. I, it is it is by our, by our understanding of the evidence, you know. It actually shifts according to our understanding of the evidence. For that was the time that people actually believed that uh, the uh, the lightning lightning was uh lightning was some go uh, or uh, the Greeks believe it was top. and uh, the uh, uh, the Japanese believe it was kamakazi, you know. And, and we, we, uh, and then we figured out it is just electricity. It is just electric charge in the, in the clouds, you know. Then we, our, our belief changed. It shifted. So it, it, it wasn't like, you know, that was, a, that was the time that killing someone, murder was actually when Genghis Khan was alive. Genghis Khan that conquered, that connected the big, largest land empire. When he was alive, he, 
no one would actually hold him accountable for killing thousands, even millions of people. And and to them, in, in his time, that was, it was an alpha, alpha male. It was an alpha, someone that was respected all over the world. Then, he shifted the uh, sanctity of life. There was sanctity of life, you know. There was sanctity of life actually shifted. Then, then our beliefs changed, you know. There are some things that are objective in this world, you know. Like, like, I believe, I, I believe, to some extent, it's some kind of belief. But it is a, an objective position that, that you are actually sitting right in front of me right now. And I do not actually choose to believe that. It is because you are actually sitting in front of me. These are formed by spaced repetition over time. Spaced repetition over time. Well, repetition Spaced doesn't apply to repetition over time. Everything you have learned today has been because of spaced repetition over time. You know how to speak because you've been speaking. Spaced rep- the first. Don't forget the entire universe is governed by laws. The law of education. The first law of education is repetition. You know how to use this microphone because you have used it over and over again. You know how to comb your hair because you have combed your hair over and over again. You know how to sit down because you have sat over and over again. That's why when you were a little kid and you started walking, you took your first step and you fell down. Your mother did not say, oh my, my darling, don't stand up, don't stand up. Just be there. I don't want you to be hot. No, she encouraged you to stand up because she knows that if you don't stand up and continue to walk, you will never be able to walk. Two times one, two, two times two. There was a time where you couldn't. Now, if you say two times six, you understand it because you've said it's spaced repetition. That is how beliefs are formed. You've had it over and over and over and over. The Bible even confirms that. Faith cometh by hearing. And beliefs form our behavior. And this is psychology. Yeah, this is not yeah, even yeah, Bible. So that, Everything you're, you're I've told you now right is psychology. Yeah, so right because you got involved with some people and you had over and over and over again, there's evolution. God is not much. There's something, something, something. It changed. It changed who you were, no, that, that what you believe. The of evolution is actually written all over us. Do you understand what I understand I'm trying that. to say? I understand that. The same way the idea of evolution is created all over you, it's the same way God and everything he is created is written all over you. It's what you chose to believe because of what you have heard over and over and over again. I didn't choose to believe that you're actually sitting right in front of me. You know, it, of course, I could be in an hospital right now doing some snoopy snoop, snoop dance. You know, I could actually be crazy. I could actually be in an hospital right now. You know, because uh, a lot of people actually hallucinate when and when hallucination becomes uh, or becomes more real than reality, it becomes you know, it becomes something else, and they they, they think people are crazy. But you know. Uh, uh, it is because, you know, I am convinced by the evidence, you know, not like, not like, the evidence of evolution is actually written over us, uh, like, like, you know, uh, uh, the Laringian of the, uh, 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 even nipples, nipples for men, nipples for men, and <laughs> even like a lot of, a lot of, uh, vestigial organs in our body, like the, I've gotten this thing, but, but, you know, I didn't, I do not actually choose to believe those things. I choose, I, I believe it because they're actually there, you know. You know, like, I actually believe, believe in them by choice. And it's the same for you also when I think about, when you talk about, no one actually believes that a God actually exists by choice, by choice, you know. It's, it's actually by your, your supposition of, of the, of, of the evidence, you know. There was, there was a time people were worshipping Zeus. They were worshipping, worshipping, uh, worshipping, uh, Thor and Odin and, and a lot of those Greek, Greek gods. No one is doing that anymore. No one is actually worshipping those gods anymore. People, I still talk about it. I love the meat, you know. I don't think I'm people not... are still worshiping whatever they choose to worship. Yeah, no, of course, no, but, but you know, but, but <laughs> anywhere in the world, that now. you get to India now, they have like 33,000 gods. Wow. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah, but so you, it's a choice and it boils down to the fact that God created you a free will being. You chose not to believe in God, it's a belief. I chose to believe in God. It's a belief. You chose evolution. It's a belief. You believed in something. I chose to believe in the fact that the Bible showed me how I came into existence. It's a belief. Well, how, how do we Free pro- will. How do, how do we prove that? The evidence I don't even need to prove anything. I am enough a living miracle that God exists. Wow. 
Uh, we don't actually have prove to anything to who. No, no, people. Some my 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 a lot of my people are actually empiricists. You know that they are they they want the evidence. You know before they actually believe in something, they want the evidence. And I've met a lot of people that are actually not interested in proving anything. You know, and and uh, and it is not. I don't think it is actually. I do to actually succumb to to uh you no know, um, dogmatism in that sense. You know, I, I, like you did, I'm my dear. Open, I'm open like to you did, you you succumbed. I? To a dogma okay, all right. that changed the trajectory of your life okay. four years ago. I'm open to be, be, be debating my views. You know? I'm, I'm open to debating my views. I'm open to, uh, like I said, I'll be debating. Uh, I'm also open. Are we not debating now? We're debating. By book. Just because I must get that book. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. I can get this. And oh. I can give you my own too. Oh, of course, I would take, take, I would take Why all not? Why will I not oh, give you? I've written 104 books. Yeah, yeah. I've checked. I've checked a lot before this interview. I've checked a lot of it, you know. And and when I, I so I, what is this book about? It is about evolution and natural selection, and 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 the evidence of evolution and natural selection. The the human in the the every life form actually originated from one from one single life form, you know. And there there are like you said something the other time that there is only one animal that's actually that God uh, God created direct, you know. That was that is actually not true. There are homoniadolis homo homo erectus, you know, that way that, that, that it's apes. No, 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 no. That stand up like this. No. We're also apes. By definition, we also also apes. Uh, you uh, and who? You, you, you <laughs> and your friends. <laughs> I'm not an ape. I'm a human, human being that is the point, created you know? beautiful, fearfully, yeah, and wonderfully. No one actually loves. So, so actually, tell me the other one because I need to learn. Of course, and illiterate will not learn. So yeah. tell me the other ones that are not erect. Oh, uh, that, 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 that are erect. That, that are erect. So. That are erect. Okay. Oh, like they, us. They have gone extinct, and that is the point. That is the only reason we killed some of them. Anyway, shall <laughs> do you must be actually kill some of them? We actually like like uh, near does no. That's actually good evidence that we actually wipe those species out. Those species out, you know. We are not, not dominion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are violent creatures, or modern sovereigns, you know. And a lot of a lot of uh, other homo species that actually got wiped out by a horse, you know. And the only reason why we actually think Jesus Christ actually died for us is because you know we are the only survive, surviving species that that actually has this. Uh, uh yeah, those also, also had culture. They had uh, a way to actually bury their bury their. Uh, the dead, you know, they had culture, they, the uh, I, we are not sure whether any adults also had, had, had languages, you know, but, but I'm very sure that if you actually read this book, you know, it might, it will actually open your mind to some things, you know, some things, you know, about, about it, even if you dismiss them, but it is still, I read a lot of things that I actually find out, it just doesn't sound true, and I dismiss it, but I make sure I actually read it, you know, I, I make sure I actually read it, you know, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so I have it, thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Okay. All right, all right. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, thank you so much. Uh, 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 <laughs> how do you how do you explain the problem of evil in the Bible? You know, the problem of not just not in the Bible, just in life. The problem of evil. Uh, uh, that is one of the you know, most difficult. In, in fact, like in intelligence, like John John Lennox actually said, it can't it can't be answered. Why we suffer? Why humans actually suffer? This the 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 reason behind our suffering. That was the time that that uh that was this uh, uh hurricane that actually happened and uh, in in Asia that actually killed about five hundred thousand people in in a couple of hours. So why would that happen? In a with it is just a natural disaster, you know. Some things that some things are beyond our uh 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 you sure some things are beyond yeah. us? Uh, earthquakes also. Uh, earthquakes, you know. That, that presupposes that there is a force. That is beyond our nature. Uh, beyond our power. Yeah, which is God. Which is God. Okay, all right. All right. Why would God do that? It wasn't God that did it. You <laughs> said nature. And now you're saying that there are forces. But there God, is a force. Do you, think, do you think God has power over nature, you know? He created it. But, but why would you allow that to happen? <laughs> so, why would you, for instance, mm. choose mm. to go befriend Shionkuti or come interview me or go to Professor Wale Shoyenka? Why? Uh, I, I, I find uh, uh, most people fascinating. A lot of, I'm, I'm interested in the way people think, you know. 
why people do what they do. It is, it is where I started my podcast. It's where I did to just, I find pleasures, pleasure in finding things out. Just knowing something. It is, it is, I could, if, if there is a room filled with the secret of the universe, you know, and I can actually lock myself in that room without access to anyone to the end of my days, I would, without any hesitation, without any doubt, I would take the opportunity right now. Because I find pleasure more than anything in finding things out, in understanding, in knowing things. I find pleasure in that, 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 that I can actually know something. Which actually expands the perimeter of my ignorance. Because when you, the more you find things out, the more you actually understand that you know nothing. You know, the more you know, the more you know, you, you know nothing. There are, there are a lot of things that you don't know. And there are a lot of things that you might even never know, you know. And I find pleasure, pleasure in that. That is why I, 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 I meet people like Shemkuti. I meet people like, uh, 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 uh I, I, I chat with, uh, uh, Show sometimes. I, you know. Now, these people you are mentioning, they are great people. Yeah, they're great. And we are proud to have them as Africans and as Nigerians. Yeah. I must let you know that sometimes we're not, we may not even have answers to all the questions in the world. And I said, God is sovereign. Now, there is nature. And it is governed by the laws that govern nature. For instance, geography, volcano. There is volcanic eruption. Do you understand? And then people live around that area. And it kills them. Look at Nigeria. There are places that when God created those places, they were supposed to be river, ocean. What do we do? We go there, we sand fill, we sand fill, and sand fill, and sand fill. Until we have houses there. And then one day, God forbid, something happens. I would say, God, why did you allow this? Why did you allow that? You know, and all that. I'm not saying that's the reason for Katrina or all the other whatever. Nature, the galaxies, um, the universe keeps on expressing itself, expanding and all that. And when things like that happen, we learn again. For instance, in America, you learn, okay, ah, this is not where to build the houses. This is how to build the houses. We move on, you know, and it doesn't mean that it's God that killed them. But, but why does God actually allow that to happen, you know? Like, why does God actually allow that to actually happen? He gave us wisdom. He gave us brain. But, but we can't... There is nothing we can do to control the tectonic plates. That will always be... To the end of time... That, to the end of this planet, you know? That There will always be earthquakes in, in California. There is nothing anyone can actually do about that. We can't control... We can't control the planets. We can't do that, you know? Somebody controls it. You are now admitting that there is a God. I'm not saying there is actually a God, you know? But I'm not saying... Woo! Really? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if there is one. But but why would God allow that? That's the problem of evil in the Bible. So, excuse me. If you say there is no God, so why are you now blaming it on God? That Why would God allow it? I thought you said there is no God. You you do. You believe in God. So, I believe in God. But okay, if you don't good. believe in God, why are you saying it was God? The God you don't believe in, the God that is not existing. I don't, I, I don't, I do not actually, I, have to, I, have to, I do not actually believe that a God do not actually exist. That's an act, active belief system. I can't actually say for certain that there is, there is no God because there is no way I can actually prove that. And, and that, that could mm, be a God. There is, there is, there is no way to actually prove that. Now we are coming home. Little by little. Because, because if there is no God, then why would somebody blame God for what happens in California? I'm not blaming him, you know. I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that. What if you actually ask me that? Why, why does uh, uh, a tectonic plate actually shift, you know? Because I, I because I, uh, I would, I would say, why does earthquake happen? Why does the volcanoes actually happen? I would actually say we live in a, we live in a world, you know. Uh, we need, we live on a planet that's actually cooling, that is, that is not fully formed, that is not habitable to man life. Like seventy percent of the world is filled with oceans, you know, with salt water. That is actually a chance. If God actually existed, if God actually exists, you know, that's actually a chance for God to actually give us unlimited water supply, and then He puts salt in it. We can't actually drink the drink from the ocean. And give us the brain to put it together, and be able to bottle the water. Oh, for how long? And be able. Look fantastic! At- see, see the majesty of the aircraft in the air. See the majesty. You get on um, Emirates. You can take your shower at seven thousand feet above sea level. See that. See the majesty of the shark. See the majesty of the serpent. See the lion, the king. See all these. And most of these things are tamed by man or 
created by man. The world stands in, in you know, innovation for creators. I'm sure God is happy in heaven because we are displaying his majesty. Look at these gadgets. Look at these gadgets. First, in somebody's thoughts, and now as a thing, because we all know in psychology that everything is created twice. Look at how you left Lagos and you got here. You didn't trek. God created us for his pleasure, gave us the brain, and with that brain, we are manifesting to, to his own glory. We are in charge. Yes, once in a while we see volcano, we see this and that, but we're still in charge. We have dominion. Look at the zoo. Look at what we have been able to create. But we've been on the planet for about humans have been on the planet for about eight thousand years, and and just look at the MRI machine, like for example, like a magnificent machine that can actually, or or or, or that can actually fix, that can actually help you help you help you solve the problem of cancer. You know, like there is no cure, there is no cure yet, but but look at the years. Yes, it actually took us to actually get there. I can actually imagine when I when I think about when I think about. Uh, the early early humans, you know, they actually slept, they actually slept, and 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 didn't actually know what what the world was like. They actually thought on that actually, and actually, you know, that 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 when when humans were first giving birth, you know, they their children, you know, actually suffered. They they couldn't, they didn't, they didn't know what diseases were. They didn't know what germs were. They just died in droves, you know. And and up to this now, up to this moment, you know, right now, for example, we can't actually cure cancer. And I'm very sure by the, by the time we actually finally cure it, maybe in some ten years or some fifteen years, by the time we actually cure cancer, people will actually give God the glory. The Christians will actually give God the glory that well, God actually made us. But but why do we actually, we actually suffer this much pain to actually get to this level of actually fixing things? You know, for years and many years, you know, for years, for years and years, you know. Uh, like humans actually move close, like for in the Sahara Desert. The Sahara Desert always had life, you know. I'll, I'll sometimes at some points had water, and it just dried up. Just look at those that would have died. Adam, why do we have to actually suffer for this long to actually get to a, to a point that we can actually solve the problems ourselves without actually needing God to actually solve it for us? Process and process and process of growth. Why is it that when you give back to a child, the child is not an adult immediately? Yeah, uh, that is because uh humans uh, uh humans you know because uh, uh evolution actually favored uh early early uh our brain our brains will were, were larger before and and evolution favored uh animals with uh, uh, uh people uh, smaller brains you know, actually favor smaller brains and when we uh it, when when you look at this in contrast to other animals uh other animals and their like and their uh ability to actually spring up. A, a, a sheep will actually care for itself in, in about, in about, uh, two weeks. A sheep, a baby, a, 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 a goat will actually stand up the, the, about, at the second day, but not for humans because, you know, we have to give birth early because, uh, 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 because of larger brains. Oh, no, what baby? I'm, I'm explaining it. Oh, no, what baby? Oh, no, what baby? The human brain, the storage, can take six million years of Wall Street Journal. I'm not that smart. <laughs> I'm not that smart. God created us, gave us a free will, gave us a brain, gave us everything we need to create anything we want. This table used to be wood or tree the power of transmutation energy and then it transmutated and became wood transmutated and became paper who knows what it can become again god is amazed at how we are using our brains and then you're telling me it's it's pain. It's, it's taking it's us years. Like, it's taking us. I, I have I have someone that actually lost 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 his mom to cancer. I have someone recently that actually died. You know, a, a man that actually lost his child. He actually lost his child because 
it's pathetic that people are dying but let's analyze the causes of cancer most of the cancers that we have god gave us natural food and then we carry this food we begin to can we add chemicals the people that die of cancer it's not their fault sometimes it's what we they found on the shelves that they bought some of these things that we eat some of them have expired some of them have been on the sea for um three years for three months and all that and these people are not aware they just they just eat human beings we have a contribution also what, what about other animals or animals also have cancer you know what animals, do they what do they eat we give them the same food you no, go to walmart no, no, no. Like you go to walmart you go to mcdonald's you go everywhere and then you buy cat food canned everything the people that lived very long were they not eating natural you know look at us we create five alive create this we will even take the apple we squeeze it squeeze life out of it look at goats God will eat the orange and eat the back and eat purple and eat the back. We will peel it away. And she'll be back more alone, Lord. <laughs> Most cancers are caused by what we eat. It's the fact. You know it. So we go be running down from heaven. Go to Asia. Hey, my Gemma, stop eating that one. He will go to Africa. Stop eating that one. He gave us our brains. A brain that can take whatever. So. So, we can't afford to blame God. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah, uh, talk, talking about blames, you know, a lot of people actually blame, uh, blame, uh, some sickness to witchcraft. Some, uh, like, like a lot of, a lot of people, a lot of people actually blame some sickness to witchcraft. They blame, uh, the devil for, for their, uh, for problems in, uh, <laughs> for medical problems, you know, like, do you believe in, do you believe in the existence of witchcraft, you know? Do you believe in witches? Do you believe in witchcraft? Do you, do you believe they, are, they actually have the power? Like, if you believe in them, do you believe they actually have the power to actually control uh, human life? I believe in witchcraft. You believe they exist? I believe they exist. Exodus chapter 22 tells me that. And the Bible tells me, suffer not a witch to live. But I am not under their power. Because I have the Lord Jesus Christ living on my inside. So, no, I don't believe in a witch being in charge of my life or afflicting me. It's not possible because I have enough awareness to know that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I also have enough spiritual sense to understand that spiritual warfare is real. I believe that there are witches, but I believe they cannot touch me. At the same time, I don't believe that when you should go to the hospital, you will sit at home and be saying, it is witch it is a witch it is a witch Mazan and I, we have two hospitals. I believe in medical science. And if you listen to me very carefully, you will know that I am well read. Yeah. I have studied science. I have, I did a course on the brain. I am not just a preacher. I'm a certified transformational coach. So I, I have studied new age religion. This one religion. This one you're talking to me about evolution, Islam. I am well read. I've read books about them. But my faith in the Lord Jesus Christ stands till tomorrow. So, I don't believe that you have cancer and then you have to say, is the devil oh, is, um, I believe in prayers. I believe in the mighty hand of God. I believe in the miraculous. But I believe that God gave us this brain, gave it to medical doctors, to study medical science, to be able to help people. I believe in um, assisted Fertility, for instance, if you're trusting God for the blessing of the womb, you've been married, you want to have a child. I believe in IVF. I am a balanced person, balanced Christian. I believe the Lord can use via the miraculous or the medical. But I believe that which which is exists, but they don't have power over me or over a child of God. Yeah, something I actually do. Something I actually do, and the listeners should actually check this out. The videos are behind my channel, uh, below, no. I, I actually investigate supernatural claims. I visit and actually take, uh, I, I visit, uh, voodoo priests and uh, juju priests and actually test that their claims live on camera to actually find out if their claims are actually true. So I couldn't, I haven't found anyone, any voodoo priest with, uh, uh, that actually can give me 
any evidence for the existence of all that that is actually the genuine guy you know that actually is the genuine the genuine thing that actually has really charms you know so how do you think we would actually recognize the evidence the evidence for the existence of witchcraft what do you think the evidence for for witchcraft would actually look like i don't know because i'm not a witch <laughs> but, but have you seen one have you seen the evidence for witchcraft you know have you seen the evidence for witchcraft how, how come you believe in it you know have you seen the evidence what did the evidence for? remember i'm an african like, i'm 58 years old how are, how are you son okay. i've seen life I've seen that. may you not see such things it's just my prayer for you there are things who, that's why my dear believe in god oh the Bible says only a fool will say there is no god give your heart to jesus oh and make sure this one that i'm saying Put it out on your YouTube channel. Of course, Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Give your saying. heart to Jesus. <laughs> yeah. That is the guarantee. All this one that you are doing, fantastic. I'm so proud of you. You're using your brain, you're, you're intelligent and all that. But please, my dear, let your relationship with God be solid. Uh, you will need him. Uh, like so far, I haven't found found the reason to. Uh, so, actually, so believe in witchcraft. May you not find. No, That's my oh, prayer for oh. you. I join your mother I'm, to pray that you I'm will actually, never find. My mom actually does. But but I'm actually I'm actually I'm actually seeking seeking them out. You know, seeking these witch. people out. And uh, to actually, if if you're a witch, if you're a witch, send me a DM on 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 Twitter par, at paranormal dbk, uh, paranormal dbk Instagram or my email on on YouTube. You find it on the contact. Well, give me the, 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 the that is witchcraft, you know. I don't know. No one has ever, has ever provide, provided any evidence for me that which is actually exists. You don't even you don't even need that nonsense. Just face God, just love God, and live your life. Okay. Okay. Uh, what, what about like you know, um, witchcraft? You know, actually comes from from uh, like for example, they the that actually comes from uh, a different kind of. Uh, 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 a different uh, belief system totally. You know, like you know, like uh. uh uh, the unreal religion that is actually very. Uh, uh, very I'm not an expert in that. You okay, might want to interview understand. another person. Oh, I'm right, a Christian. Right, right, I'm, I'm a preacher. Right, right, right. Do you? What do you think about that religions? You know, what do you think about other religions? Other I don't religions? think anything about them. I think about the Lord Jesus Christ because I don't practice other religions. So, so I don't know anything about them. Mine is I'm a Christian. I believe the Bible cover to cover everything it says jesus christ lives in my heart he's my lord and my savior anything that contradicts that i don't believe that's me or oh, would you look at evidence of anything that actually contradicts i don't need them why is that <laughs> i don't know um um the truth the truth is my is my own rally point jesus is the way the truth but and how do we know your life? Because, because, it so. because it actually says so. Because it actually says so. Thank you. So, Remember, I said that whatever the Bible says, that's what I believe, and I have an experiential relationship with Him. Is the truth? Wow, that is actually that is, that, is, that is of course no. That is actually a widespread belief among among a lot of people. I've met a lot of people that actually says uh, you know. No, like what you just say, cover to cover. I believe in, I believe in God. You know, what do you think is actually responsible for the widespread of, of Christianity in, 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 in uh, Africa? You know, like in Nigeria of, of religion. You know, I've been exploring the theory that it is about a, a, a repressed anxiety of, of death because I figured out of, uh, I figured out that the most popular religions that actually made it true. Uh, the religions actually answer the question of the, qu- the religions actually answer the question of our mortality. They actually give Islam uh, in the Islamic religion. You have seventy-two virgins in heaven. People want to feel pleasure, and people actually have people. Uh, you know, <laughs> seventy-two virgins in heaven. You have in Christianity. You have uh 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 clear, clear. You have heaven. You have uh uh pe- people just who just want to actually see their loved ones. You know. A lot, of, a lot of people just want to see their loved ones again. They are not okay with actually not missing their loved ones again. And uh, and the, even Zoroastrianism actually had this concept, a little bit of this concept of heaven and it. Even, even they don't know. What do you think is responsible for the widespread of Christianity, you know? The earth is oh, the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And I believe God is taking back 
his own. There's a mighty revival going on, and all of you will be swept <laughs> into the <laughs> kingdom <laughs> of God because prayer what, what, is ongoing. What, what, so it's not about the fear of death or I want to see my loved ones. It's about the vacuum. There's a God-shaped vacuum in every human being. That's why you are seeking for knowledge. You're seeking. Sometimes you are misguided. You meet with the wrong people. You get to... But you see, there's a, there's a vacuum in you. There's something that is telling you that, look, you're more than this. Being it's, it's there is something. It's just call curiosity. it curiosity. Call it anything. It's God-shaped. It's, it's there. It's there. And that's why you want to know what exactly, what is the meaning of life? And I present to you today the gospel what do you think is of your the Lord Jesus Christ. Give your heart to Jesus, my dear. In this your quest for knowledge, what do you think is you will be satisfied. Okay. Okay. What do you think is the meaning of life? You know, the meaning is there an ultimate ultimate purpose to to our existence on it? Do you do you think there is actually an ultimate purpose to our existence on this? Is there a meaning to this existence? I, I would I would love to hear your answer to that. Your mean the meaning of life. What do you think is the meaning of life? My my mom always says. Life has no meaning, you know, and uh, and uh, I, I I understand that this actually varies. There are sometimes when she says our life is meaningful, you know, and there are sometimes when she says, life has no meaning. But I think I think when people actually say life has no meaning, what they actually say what they actually saying is life is suffering, you know. I think when, it's when people actually suffer and actually go through some kind 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 of you know some problems that actually say life is life has no meaning. For me, for me, even in pain or anything, I've I've always found myself worthy of my pain. Well, what do you think is the meaning of life? You know? Life has meaning. No, life is meaningful. What is the meaning of life? God breathed into me the breath of life, created a universe, put me here to have dominion, to be blessed, and to be a blessing, a progressive realization of my purpose on earth gives me meaning and gives life meaning all right thanks for coming on the show yeah thanks thank you so much thank you for me. give your heart to jesus <laughs> okay thanks for that <laughs> uh.